we saw over 4,000 rockets fired from Hamas terrorists into Israel. And, and I wanted to go to really express America's strong and unyielding support for the state of Israel. Uh, I also wanted to go in particular because the current Democratic administration, the Biden administration, I think is in very real ways responsible for this Hamas rocket attack. You know, pause for a second and just step back. Nine months ago. Nine months ago, we were in a very different world. We had peace flowering in the Middle East. We had the Abraham Accords, historic peace agreements signed between Israel and multiple Arab nations. First peace agreements in the Middle East in decades. Um, I, I was there at the White House the day the Abraham Accords were signed. Fast forward nine months later and we've got war in the Middle East. And what changed and what changed was several things. All of which the Biden administration did. Historically, Democrats and, and too many Republicans believe the right approach to the Middle East was deliberate and strategic ambiguity, was blurring the lines of sometimes we support Israel, sometimes we support the Palestinians, we like both, we don't know. Um, I think that is an absolutely failed approach. I think it has been demonstrated over and over again, it doesn't produce peace, it produces endless conflict and warfare. And what I have been urging for the nine years I've been in the Senate is clarity, unmistakable clarity to say, we stand with Israel, period, full stop, the end. And that clarity produces peace. In the Trump administration, there were two decisions that set the foundation for the Abraham Accords. Number one, moving our embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. Number two, pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal. Both decisions were hotly contested within the administration in both instances. The State Department and Defense Department opposed making those decisions. And in both instances, I made the case directly and repeatedly to President Trump in the Oval Office, and he agreed with me in both times and overruled his own State Department, his own Defense Department. Those two decisions produced, I believe, the Abraham Accords. On the day of the signing of the Abraham Accords, I spoke with foreign ministers and ambassadors from UAE and Bahrain, both of whom said almost the exact same thing. They both said a variant of, we now understand that the United States stands unequivocally with Israel. We want to be friends with America. Therefore, we will be friends with Israel. So what did Biden do? He came in and he made, immediately returned to that deliberate ambiguity. He immediately began undermining Israel. Within the, the, the first few weeks of his administration, he sent over $100 million to the Palestinian Authority in violation of the Taylor Force Act that prohibits funding organizations that fund terrorists. The Palestinian Authority is in bed with Hamas and paying terrorists, the families of terrorists, for murdering Americans and Israelis. The Biden administration set out their top foreign policy objective is re-entering the Iran nuclear deal and sending billions of dollars uh, to the Ayatollah Khamenei. That combination emboldened Hamas because they knew when they fired rockets, that the Biden administration and the press would side with them and blame Israel for defending itself. And so I wanted to go and express to Prime Minister Netanyahu, to the leadership of the government, to the Israeli people, that even if the current administration in Washington is not supporting you the way they should, that the American people stand with you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss new content from The Daily Signal.